You just live fully and use your talent. And your talents are given to you. Your talent is the art of revision. You know the story of the talent. When he came back, he asked one for an accounting. He gave him five. And the man used his talent wisely and made ten. He commended him and gave him all ten. One he gave two. The man used it wisely and made four. He gave him the four. And then one only received one and he was embarrassed or afraid of the Lord's judgment. So he buried it for safekeeping. What did he tell him? Take it from him and give it to the one who has the most and cast him out because he would not exercise his talent. And I know many a person will go to church and will never test God. And you are told in the 13th chapter of 2 Corinthians, come test me and see. Actually test me. The invitation is to test him. Do you not realize that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless, of course, you fail to meet the test. And you're invited to test him and see. Well, if I don't test him because I'm afraid it may not work, then I will lose confidence in God. You test him whether you lose confidence or not. If tonight you want something and it's a noble thing, all right, test him. Put him to the test. Well, how would I put him to the test? I would dare to assume that I am now the man I want to be. And at this moment, everything denies it. Reason denies it. My senses deny it. But I will dare to assume that I am it. And to the best of my ability, I will give it all the tones of reality. I will try to catch the feeling of the wish fulfilled. And then look mentally at my world to get a reflection of the reality of what I'm doing. Well, now I'll test him. Now you project that thing on the screen of space and let the whole vast world see with me the reality of what I am doing. For well, they can't see the invisible reality. They want a concrete, objective form to believe in it. So do I. So I will believe now in the unseen reality, but that's not enough. You objectify it for me and make it concrete that I may share it with the whole vast world. So you test them whether it be in romance, whether it be in money, whether it be in position socially, anything in this world. If there's one bar door barred to you now, and that's your urge to test him, to prove that you are welcome in such a place, you test him. Dare to assume that you are an invited member. You're invited to join. Not you're breaking through the door, you're invited as someone that is honored by that invitation. Then assume that you are a part of that setup and let it come. May I tell you it will come? I'm a speaker from experience, because door after door in my limited state were all closed to me. They aren't closed anymore. I'm not a member of the club, but I've, I have access through members to almost every club that I've gone into this country. In New York City, the exclusive clubs, I have some friend who is a member, he invariably will say, never have lunch with me, have dinner with me, or have cocktails with me in these areas. I don't join, I'm not a joiner of any club in this world, but they aren't barred to me. At one time in my life, I would not even begin to dream I could ever get in there, serve as a busboy. You don't go in a busboy anymore. You're going as an honored guest of someone who is a member of the place. So I say to everyone, do not accept the present limitations.